What's going on guys? Today we're going to learn how to create black and white photos except for one color here in Photoshop. So let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Brendan from BeWheelCreative.com, home to editing tutorials, camera gear reviews, tricks and tips to help you learn photography and photo editing a whole lot faster. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more videos just like this one. The effect that we'll be creating today is called the color splash effect. This effect turns your whole photo black and white except for one color range. To make this effect even easier, I made a Photoshop action that I'm gonna show you first, and then once we go through the action, I'll show you how to create the effect manually if Photoshop actions aren't really your thing. So with that, let's jump into the computer and start learning about this color splash effect. So the first image that we're going to be using today is this motorcycle image. We're going to be keeping the color of the motorcycle while making everything else black and white. So for this first example, I'm going to be using my color splash Photoshop action, which you can download via the link in the description below. Now, since this is a new action on BeWillCreative.com, I wanted to make it a little bit more fun. So for the first five people to download this action, you can get it 50% off, but only for the first five people. So with that, let's start seeing how this action works. So to access your Photoshop actions, if you don't already know, you can go up here to Window and down here to Actions to open up your Actions panel. It's going to be represented by this little play icon here. Once you've downloaded the Color Splash action, you can access it via this Color Splash action folder. You can click on that and all of the actions will be inside here. So in this case, because we want to isolate the red of our motorcycle here, we're going to pick the red color isolation. Once I've selected this action, all I have to do is click this play button down at the bottom of the panel. When I click play, it'll do its thing. And right away with only one click, I was able to completely transform my image, turn it black and white, except for the color range that we specified. In this case, it was the red of the motorcycle. If I zoom in, you can see how well it actually masks around that color. There's not any weird things going on. It looks really clean and it really just makes this effect so fast and easy by using this Photoshop action. The other thing that this action will do for you is it organizes all the layers for you right in a group here. So if you look down on my layer panel here, I now have a red isolation group and inside of that is all of the affected layers plus a color mask that I can use to edit my mask after the fact if I want to make any further adjustments to the color range. So now let's go and look at a different example. So this example here, I want to isolate all of the colors in the leaves, but I want to make this person and his clothing completely black and white. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'll go up here to my actions. This time I'm going to go to my green color isolation because that's the color that's predominant in these bushes here. I'll click play and let's see what happens. Notice how not all of the bushes got selected, only parts of them, and that's not exactly what we're wanting. So maybe that's because more of the colors sit within the yellow color range. So let's try that instead. I'm going to delete that green isolation group, and I'll try my yellow color isolation action. Press play on that. And now we have a similar problem once again. So what can we do if this is happening in our photos? Well, the great thing about this Photoshop action is it has a custom color isolation option. So that way you can go and select the exact ranges that you want to use. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to delete this yellow isolation layer. So we're now back to normal. I'm going to grab my custom color isolation this time, press play. A prompt will come up telling us how to select the ranges, click continue. An option will come up here and in this case I want to add my yellows, I want to add my greens, and let's add my cyans as well. So now looking at this image is this big black and white atrocity, it looks really bad, but try to think of it like a layer mask. All of the white is going to be fully visible while all the blacks and the grays are going to become transparent. By looking at the overall image here, our bushes are really nicely selected and that's exactly what we're going for. So I'm going to click OK and then the action will continue through. Now with that custom color isolation action, we were able to perfectly get the color of the trees that these individual preset colors weren't quite working. So in this case, we had to use three color ranges to isolate what we're wanting to use. And that's where that custom color action is super useful. So again, if you want to get your hands on this Photoshop action, hit the link down in the description below where you can download the action and start creating this awesome effect with just one click. And once again, for the first five people who use the discount code that's up on the screen right now, 
you'll get 50% off of this Photoshop action. So you can start creating this color splash effect with no hassle whatsoever. All right, so now I totally get it. If you don't like Photoshop actions, you wanna learn how to do this manually, you wanna learn how to do it yourself, we're gonna dive into a third image here. And I'm gonna show you how to do this whole process manually. Now over into our third image here, we want to isolate the yellow of this guy's shirt. So what we need to do in a general sense is turn this image black and white, select the yellow color range, and add that to a layer mask so it's non-destructive. That might all sound a little bit confusing, but I promise you it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna just enlarge my thumbnails so you can see the layers a little better. So with my image layer selected here, I'm gonna press Command or Control J two times to duplicate this layer twice. I'm gonna call this top layer to color mask, and I'm gonna call this bottom layer to desaturate. Now with my desaturate layer selected, I'm going to desaturate it, big surprise, by going up here to image, down here to adjustments, and over to desaturate. Click on that, and if I turn off my color mask layer, you'll notice we have a black and white version of our photo. Now with my color mask layer selected, we're going to turn this yellow color into a selection. So we can do that via the select color range feature. So with my color mask layer selected, I'll go up here to select, and down here to color range. A new dialog box will pop up for us and now we have to sample the colors that we're wanting to select. So in this case, I'm gonna just keep my eyedropper tool set to this one here. And as you notice, wherever I click, the preview here changes. So imagine once again, that this preview is like a layer mask. Anything that is white is visible. Anything that is black is transparent. So since I want to keep things visible in the yellow, I'm going to click on that yellow. But the issue that you might have is if you keep clicking around, it just constantly changes. So what if I wanna to add to that color sample? Once you've made your initial sample with the eyedropper tool, you can go over here and click the eyedropper tool with the plus beside it. We'll click on that and now it's just going to continue to add our samples onto our selection. So we just wanna click around and choose all the different shades of yellow here, go in the shadows underneath the arm here, making sure that we're getting the best selection possible covering the whole color range. So I'll keep clicking around a few more times here, making sure all that's getting covered. And that looks pretty good to me. Looking at a shirt, it's fully white and I think that's gonna give us a really good result. So once you've done that, you can set your fuzziness somewhere between 40 and 60, depending on your image. The fuzziness is just the amount of tolerance in your sampling. But for this case, I'm just gonna keep it at 40. I'm happy with my selection, so I'll click OK. Now you'll notice we have an active selection noted by these marching ants all around our image. And with my color mask layer selected, I'm going to add that to a layer mask. And now you notice that our shirt is yellow, but everything else is black and white. And that's just because our desaturate layer is showing through behind our color mask layer mask. Now let's just zoom in and double check that there isn't anything weird going on with this shirt. In this case, it looked like his, a bit of his chain didn't get selected and around the outside of his shirt, but that's no worries because all we have to do is click on our layer mask, grab our brush tool, and now we can paint white over top of those colored areas that we want to add back into our image. So I'm just gonna go around the outside of his shirt here and mask back in all of this stuff that was missed by our sampling. And with that, that's looking pretty good to me. So we can zoom out and we have successfully created this effect. Maybe I want to also just take out this orange cone. So again, selecting my brush tool, painting onto my color mask, layer mask, this time with black to get rid of stuff. So I'm painting black over this cone and now that is getting rid of all that color. Just like that, super easy. Now the last thing I'll do is shift click both these layers. I'll group them by pressing command or control G and I'll just call this to color isolation. And with that, we have manually created the color splash effect here in Photoshop using the color range tool. So this is a totally great option to do this, but if you're wanting to learn a third and final option of how you can create this effect, make sure to check out the very lengthy article I wrote all about how to create this effect in three different ways. We've talked about two of them in this video, the Photoshop action, the color range feature, but then the third option is using the black and white adjustment. So if you wanna learn how that works, then make sure to check out the article at bewillcreative.com down in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you get a ton of use out of this cool effect here in Photoshop. And if you do decide to put this effect to use in your own work, I'd love to see how it turns out. So make sure to tag me when you upload to Instagram at Burnwells so I can check it out and see some great stuff that you're creating.
Anyways guys, once again, you can download this Photoshop action via the link in the description below, or you can just go and do this manually, it's totally up to you, whatever floats your boat, it's all good. Now if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference, and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more photo and photo editing goodness like today. Again, my name is Brandon from BeWillCreative.com, you can find me on Instagram, at BurnWills, and with that, I'll catch you back here next time. See you then.